Princess Charlotte and her brother were following the procession of the Queen's coffin as their father, the Prince of Wales and heir to the throne, walked in front. Princess Charlotte has been spotted smiling at the crowds lining the streets for the procession of the Queen's coffin from Westminster Abbey. The young princess was sitting alongside her elder brother, Prince George, the second in line to the throne, and in front of her mother the Princess of Wales and the Queen Consort Camilla. Princess Charlotte could be seen smiling as the procession rounded the Tiffany Fountain in front of Buckingham Palace. The touching moment captured the beginning of a new chapter of royalty as Queen Elizabeth II's coffin passed the balcony, upon which the monarch had greeted the public so frequently, for the last time. Princess Charlotte could be seen smiling sweetly at the thousands lining the streets in the historic procession. The young royal and her brother Prince George both attended their great-grandmother's funeral earlier on Monday, arriving with their mother Kate, Princess of Wales. While Prince William arrived at Westminster Abbey alongside his father, his two eldest children arrived shortly afterwards. Prince Louis, the couple's youngest child, did not attend the ceremony. As the four royals entered the abbey, Prince George and Princess Charlotte walked in between their parents as part of a solemn procession. Ahead of the service, the Princess of Wales could be seen holding Charlotte's hand, and giving her a reassuring touch on the shoulder. Later, as the young royals walked behind their great-grandmother's coffin, Charlotte held her hands clasped in front of her while George had his arms by his side. Charlotte wore a near-identical outfit to her mother, wearing a black coat dress that fell to mid-length and boasted deep pleats. The seven-year-old princess also wore a tiny brooch pinned to her coat dress in the shape of a horseshoe. The jewelry is believed to be a nod to her great-grandmother the late Her Majesty's love of horses. After taking their seats, the children could be seen studying their order of service at various points. Charlotte could be seen looking around from under the brim of her hat while the mourners sang the Lord's My Shepherd. And her brother George was seen singing the day thou gavest, Lord, is ended as he stood between his parents. At the end of the service, George followed closely behind his father, while Kate put a guiding hand on the back of her daughter, as the foursome got up from their seats and stood behind the coffin. Both children looked down at times as they filed slowly out of the abbey, they later stood with their mother Kate, Meghan, Camilla and the Countess of Wessex, watching as the Queen's coffin began its final journey from Westminster. When the coffin reached Wellington Arch, it was transferred to the state hearse to be driven to Windsor, with senior royals watching at the side. Charlotte clasped her mother's hand and chatted briefly with her elder brother, gesturing at the coffin as it was carefully lifted off the gun carriage meters away.
The second and third in line to the throne are also expected to be at the committal service in St. George Chapel, Windsor Castle, afterwards. As the Queen is laid to rest and King Charles III settles into his reign, Prince George has taken one step closer to the throne, and Princess Charlotte becomes third in line to the throne. She will also eventually become the Princess Royal, as the eldest daughter of Prince William. However, she will not inherit the role until the current occupier, Princess Anne, relinquishes the title upon her death.